wrapped around your soul with no control. You can't breathe when you're drowning underwater. There's so much water. I'll run, I'll hide. The darkness always clouds my mind. What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Mal Lewis and Mel Films. We out there. Hope everyone is having a great day. Today we got a very special guest. I would like for her to introduce herself, please. I'm Bella. How you doing, Bella? I'm alright. How you doing today? I'm good, how are you? I'm doing great myself. Nice to meet you. Me too. How old are you? I'm 24. You said 24? 24, yeah. Now, where are you originally from? I'm from New York. Originally. Oh, New York in the building. Shout out New York. I'm from New York. Harlem, New York. Really? Yes, Manhattan, you know. Yeah. What part of New York you're from? I'm from Manhattan, too. Oh, shout out Manhattan in the building. We out there. <laughs> Can you please tell me a little bit about your childhood? Um, it was good growing up. I had both my parents. Like, I went to Catholic school. Like, they, uh, they were like middle class family. And, um, I don't know, it was like a good childhood. Like, did like horseback riding, like piano lessons and stuff like that. So, nothing really like, it was like a normal childhood, I guess. Yeah. Okay, that's awesome. What are some of your favorite childhood memories? Um, we would go to like the Outer Banks every year. I guess my family, my aunt, we would go like every summer. So like, I guess that, like looking forward to that every year. That's great to hear. Now, tell me about your current situation and how you ended up out here. Um, I started using back in New York when I was like 16. Um, and I became homeless out there in Manhattan. I was using out there for a little bit. Um, and then I got clean. And then I met uh, my current boyfriend that I came out here with. Um, he's from out here, so we came out here together. And I've only been out here in Philly for like a couple months, not that long. So I'm um, just trying to like survive out here now. Uh, yeah, I do heroin. Heroin? Yeah. Is it heroin or fentanyl? Because I know it's fentanyl. fentanyl. Yeah. How long have you been using that for? Um, probably about eight, eight years, ten years. How were you introduced? How, how were you introduced to fentanyl? Um, I started doing pills first and then uh, somebody introduced me to dope and I started doing that. It's cheaper. I just started doing it from there, I guess. How many bags of heroin do you use a day? Um, probably 10 or 15. Now with a drug like fentanyl, are you concerned with what you're putting in your body? Yeah, I mean, you're not really sure exactly what you're getting all the time, you know, so there's no way to, like, know what exactly you're buying, what you're doing. Are you afraid of dying? No, really. How was your first drug experience like? Um, what do you mean? How do you feel when you first try heroin for the first time? Um, I don't know, I tried it once and I didn't do it afterwards, like, it, I didn't, like, just continue doing after the first time like I did it once and then didn't do it again for a while um, I don't know I was like scared kind of I guess but yeah. it was probably like a month after I did it the first time that I started like doing it consecutively like every day yeah um, so yeah. what trigger you into using what is some pain that you are numbing and you continue to use drugs um, I guess like a lot of anxiety, depression, like try to self-medicate, like... What are, the, what, what, are, what are some things that you're depressed about? Um, I don't know, just like overall like sadness, I guess. Sadness. When I was younger, like didn't know like how to like deal with it. I was like looking for like any outlet to, you know, feel something different. Gotcha. How, how long do the high last for? Um, like an hour or two, I guess, and then... I don't know, you get sick really soon too afterwards so you have to make sure you have something. Got you. So what's the worst thing you ever did to support your habit? Um, I don't know, probably steal from my mom. Mom? She's my mom, you know what I mean? She's a good lady. Definitely yeah. made me feel bad. Got you. 
in a day average, how much do you spend on buying fentanyl? Probably two hundred dollars a day between us two. It's like a hundred dollars for me. So how do you go about supporting your habit? I panhandle most days. Is that the only? Is that the only way you get your money by panhandling? Yeah. You don't do dates or anything? No. That's great. So what does the high feel like? How does it make you feel? Um, I don't really feel it anymore. It's just so I don't get sick. Yeah, I hear that a lot. Yeah. How was your life like before drugs? Um, it was good. Like, I don't know. I guess what I miss most is like having people like be able to trust me now. Like, you know, like family wise, like I don't have anybody that can like, they can like, they can't depend on me. Right now. So I miss that. Yeah. What does a typical day out here look like for you? Um, trying to make money really is all like that we do all day. It takes up most of the day. Um, just like running around like all day long. Um, we wake up, I come out here, you know, I try to make money, try to pay and handle, and run out there to like go get dope, come back out here probably like three or four times a day. Gotcha. Back and forth and then um, go to sleep. Are you currently homeless? Yeah, we stay in a hotel. Right That's now. great. How many hours in a day can you go without using fentanyl? Probably like four or five. Like I said, it's really short, you know. Have you ever OD? Um, yeah, a couple of times. Do you carry Narcan with you? Yeah. What has your drug addiction taken away forever? Um, I don't know. I'm not sure. Okay, cool. How was your Thanksgiving like? How was Thanksgiving for you? It was alright. It was like any other day, really. I didn't really do anything. So. Do you stay in touch with your family? I talk to my mom, yeah. Do you have any kids? No. Okay, let's get off topic a little bit just to get to know you as an individual. What is your favorite cartoon? Um, probably, um, I like Bob's Burgers, I like Family Guy. Hi, Family Guy, <laughs> that's cool. What are some of your favorite foods? Um, french fries. What are some of your favorite movies? Um, I like The Princess Bride, it's like my favorite movie. <laughs> What is your favorite Disney movie? Um, probably, what's the one with the alien, like he's, or the robot? And um, like, um, I forgot, I forgot the name of that. What is your zodiac sign? Uh, Capricorn. Shout out to all the Capricorns, we out there. What is your favorite color? Uh, red. Red. What are some of your favorite candies? Um, Sour Patch Kids, Sour Watermelon. Patch kids. Oh, that's a popular one. <laughs> what is your favorite ice cream flavor? Uh, mint chocolate chip. All right, cool. Are you a college or a high school graduate? Uh, no. I did go to college. I went to community college. I just didn't graduate. Yeah. Okay. Now, what was your favorite subject in school? Um, English. I really like to read. And write. All right, that's what's up. I like to do. do you have a religious or spiritual belief? Um, not really. I mean, I grew up, my family was Christian. Like I said, I went to Catholic school, but I don't know. I don't really, like, follow that so much. When you was a little girl, what do you want to become when you grow up? I wanted to be a doctor or, like, something to do with, like, a vet, something like that. Right. My mom's a nurse, so I wanted to do something, like, help take care of people, you know. That's awesome. When was the last time somebody told you that they love you? Today. When you look at yourself in the mirror, what do you see? Um, somebody who I don't like. Yeah, I hear that. What does happiness mean to you? Um, not something that you're always striving for. Try to be happy with where you are right there. You know, right where you're at. And what does the word art mean to you? A-R-T, art, what is art to you? Um, I don't know, I guess it depends on like, everything's different for everybody, so. Right, exactly. So for you, what would you consider art as? 
everything, I guess. Maybe yeah, that's everything. cool. That's unique. If you had three wishes in this world, what would your three wishes be? Um, that I could get clean. That my mom is safe and happy. Um, Just like be able to lead like a happy life after I get Got you. through all this. If you had a message to send to the world, what would your message be? Um, just to be able to not look at somebody from what you see. Like, don't judge people by the first, you know. Got you. Are you thinking about getting clean one day? Yeah, I would like to. Yeah. Okay. Well, we praying for you. We hope you do make that choice one day. All right. Thank you. So, AML Films, we out there. Peace.